Welcome to This Week in Unreal, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Unreal Engine. Let me know in the comments which project featured this week is your favorite. Let the countdown begin. Number 8 A lot of the time, open world environments tend to steal the spotlight when it comes to Unreal. Sometimes it's nice to appreciate the smaller things, like particle things. Our first project is a Niagara particle effect from Sidenius showing off a cool absorption effect in Unreal. Using a process mixed with particle spawning, effectors, and mesh deformation, the effect combines some G-buffer depth mapping and vertex painting to achieve the effect. Number 7 Travel down the Anduin as you look upon the kings of old. This project from 23 Analyze Studio VR shows off an impressive recreation of Argonath from Lord of the Rings. Utilizing Lumen and Nanite in Unreal Engine 5, the environment looks directly out of the movie. Getting around 50 frames per second on an RTX 3080, the scene isn't quite up to VR frame rates, but the addition of Nanite and Lumen don't help. With future optimization, this and scenes like it could provide some really cool ways for fans to experience their favorite movies. You can check out 23 Analyze's channel for future videos. Number 6 At number 6 is another high cinematic render from Unreal, Beach Forest. The work from Scan's library is extremely realistic, minus some planar reflections on the water due to lumen limitations. The photorealistic environment scans are available in the Unreal Marketplace and utilize Unreal 5's virtual texturing and nanite foliage. Number 5 Disorder is a first-person puzzle game inspired by the Portal series. Travel between two parallel universes to solve each puzzle and repair the fracture between the two. The traditional Portal gameplay mechanic is here with the ability to switch between two versions of the environment. Slow time to hit your mark or manipulate objects to proceed to the next puzzle. The abstract look is eye-catching and so much shiny. You can wishlist Disorder on Steam. Number 4 This is the way to make an open world Star Wars game. This is actually an old discontinued project, but I see Star Wars, I publish. There are some things that need refining, but the jetpack looks great and the traditional Star Wars binocular effect makes an appearance. And while this isn't a fully realized product, it does make you wish there was something out there coming soon for Star Wars in Unreal. Oh yeah! Number 3 Stormright is an open-world RPG set in the dark, fantasy medieval kingdom of Redreach. Play as a young squire exploring a world full of chaos and conflict. Become a deadly assassin, learn the arts of dark magic, or lead your armies into large-scale war. The choice is yours. With multiple endings and a character progression system, you'll discover the Stormrites, a series of powerful scrolls that could lead to the end of times. Stormrite is currently in development and definitely gives off some Skyrim vibes. Check out Stormrite on Steam. Number 2 Number 2 is another open world game set in a post-apocalyptic winter landscape. Outpost Glacier follows an engineer trying to maintain a small outpost while surviving the harsh, cold weather. Explore, hunt, and gather resources to craft tools, cook food, and build machines. But don't stray too far from your heat tower or risk being lost to the cold. Number 1 Get ready to put a dent into the profits of mega corporations in Deadlink, a guns blazing cyberpunk first person shooter with roguelite elements. You're the first operative to be recruited to the experimental Deadlink project. Pilot an autonomous combat shell fighting your way through cramped slums, twisted labs, and sleek office buildings to fight the most powerful corporations in the world. Deadlink is available in early access right now on Steam. For more cool projects being done in the Unreal Engine, be sure to check out this video here, and I'll be back next week with another This Week in Unreal.